So how big of a gamer were you growing up and what did you play? Uh, I was uh, I was a little bit of a gamer. I mean, as a natural kid would be. I played um, I played Sonic. I played um, you know I played uh, Super Mario Brothers. I played any kind of racing game that existed. Uh, you know, track and field. I shot some ducks. So yeah, I mean, I played a lot of games growing up. And do you have a favorite Sonic the Hedgehog memory of back then you can share with us? Um, can anyone remember really that that far back? I mean, I think more than anything, what I remember is playing the games when I'd be on the road, like racing go karts, and being in being in my uh, in my bu- in my my van that like, I went to the track with with my family, and playing with my friends at the track. So I kind of remember the places more than I remember exact memories about the game. And what's your uh, what's it like being featured in Sonic and All Stars Rage and Transformed? It's, it's really neat to be able to be a player in it, you know, especially being such a such a famous game, such a you know iconic game, to then be able to be a, be a player along with Sonic the Hedgehog and and all the other All Stars, of course, as that's the name of the game. Um, it's it's very flattering and it's really cool. It kind of comes full circle. And how does this compare to seeing yourself in NASCAR games? <laughs> um, well, NASCAR seems like it's kind of a shoe in for me. So. To be in something like uh, like a Sega game um, is, to me, more 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 cool because it's something that's not common and it's not a given that I would be in those games. So uh, I actually like it better. Disney's Wreck-It Ralph is also featured in the new game. How do you think your vehicle holds up against this type of competition in the game? I don't know. Talk to me about Wreck-It Ralph. I'm not really sure. What it sounds like, he's a pretty aggressive driver. Is this true? I think so, yeah, his, his, his car's very off, off-roading. And so it's not just a clever name, okay. Um, I'm, I, I think that you'll have to play me and realize that I can throw um, balls of flames, and that is going to be pretty detrimental to the players around me. And what tips or strategies would you give to anyone who's going to uh, race your vehicle in the game? Uh, my suggestion would be, first off, pick me to play me, because I'll be a really good, um, good one to choose. I'll be fast, and I have lots of skills and talents and uh, I shoot balls of flame, so you know it disables cars and allows uh, you to be able to get by them. So um, I think that I think you need to find out for yourself how awesome I am in the game. And how popular are video games in NASCAR? Video games are pretty popular, for sure. I think that given the fact that we're in a racing environment, in a playing environment, um, racing games tend to be something that's really, obviously really common. So, um, you know, growing up, like, you know, I played them, and um, some people continue to play them. And uh, um, I, uh, <laughs> so I think it's a good fit. And what games are popular on the field these days during the rain delays? <laughs> I don't know. You'd have to ask them. I'm not, I don't play games as much these days. So um, I, uh, I would have to say you'd have to ask them. I know a lot of, a lot of, a lot of drivers do iRace, which I think is more of an online thing. And what impact do you think hand-eye coordination uh, required of video games has helped, has helped drivers become better in the racing? I think that playing games uh, and being an adult race car driver, I think it's more of a mental thing. If you think it helps you, then it does. But I don't know. I need to feel the G-forces. So for me, it's, um, it's more about having fun outside of the car than it is about actually helping <laughs> to be able to drive it. Because if that was the case, then everyone would just play games, and um, that's not a prerequisite to driving a race car. Do you think uh, like racing simulators help NASCAR drivers at all? I do think that that they can. I think that when you take it to the way in the next level, and you know these games that these these simulators that cost millions of dollars, um, I think they can be helpful. Um, I mean, I've tried them, but I think there's nothing like the real thing. So um, I know Formula One teams tend to tend to do that quite a bit, and um, I, it's not it's not prevalent here in the states with NASCAR or IndyCar. So um, so I don't. But I'm I'm sure that again, if it's in your head that it's going to help you to play a simulator or play a racing game, then then it will help. And do you have a favorite piece of technology that you can't live without? Well, that's the phone. I mean, let's face it, what the heck did we do before phones? And half of all gamers today are female. How have you seen video games evolve to become more than something just just guys play? Well, they're very visual. That's one thing for sure. I mean, there's a visually really amazing. Um, so I think that maybe that might appeal to the female eye. Um, Kind of tend to be tend to be about appearance a little bit maybe. Um, I think it also is about um, 
It's about, you know, being able to have fun. And the games are just get better and better over time. And us women are smart. We just waited till the games were better. <laughs> and uh, a lot of Sega's classic Sonic gamers are now on the latest tablets. What are your thoughts on these new gaming devices out there? I mean, technology is always just fast forwarding. So um, it's just more easy ways for people to be able to play the games that they want to play when they want to play them. Uh, it's just kind of the day and age we're living in. And um, what consoles do you like to play on, and do you play anything else outside of Sonic All-Stars Racing Transform? No, not really. Nope. Uh, I play the game a little bit, um, but like I said, I was more of a gamer when I was a little kid than I am now, so, um, uh, so that's why it's kind of cool to be in the game, because it, you know, it's, it's, it's something that's just very flattering to be able to um, have played the game when I was a kid and now be someone that's actually in the game and having the kids play me. Do you think we'll see more of you in future upcoming games? <laughs> uh, I guess we'll have to talk about that. You know, I, I mean, maybe could I be a staple player? I mean, is this where we're going with it? Maybe. I don't know. I, um, I'd like to think so. That would be pretty cool.